All right, guys, it's here. This is the Confusion Clown project video. We've been looking forward to this for so long. You know, we develop these projects sometimes over two or three years, and we learn about it so much in that time. Um, we just want to be able to share it with you guys. We actually don't actually have secrets. They're just something we're kind of saving for it, a special surprise, and that's today. We're gonna put it all together, show you what we've learned, and we teased it on Instagram. There's some crazy, crazy combos, some crazy bellies. So let's check them out. So to get us started, we're gonna look at some of the confusion het combos because there's some of them are so crazy, especially when you get them into the leopard and the spot nose stuff. It already looks so much like the Batman project, like the actual visual clown. In fact, when I actually posted some of these, we get lots of comments saying, how is that not already a clown? How could that be any different if it was a clown? And so we're gonna look at the exact differences so that you guys can understand when we get to the visuals exactly how they're different from these heads. All right, so we're gonna start with a leopard confusion het clown, and we're gonna look at some of these combos. So the leopard confusion, you may have seen before, is just a fantastic combo as it adds so much drama and darkness to the, uh, the leopard. It's really, really incredible what it does. So much blacks in there. But you see the head, you still have kind of, you're getting kind of that arrowhead look you might see in a clown. Um, but what the big factor in there is it still has these eye stripes that go from the back of the head all the way to the front of the nose. And he doesn't want me to look at his eye stripes. But really, really cool. See that stripe down the belly? Amazing. This is the het version. Now we're gonna look at what, what it looks like when we put the spot nose on top of that. So this one is leopard spot nose confusion het clown. Of course, we know what leopard and spot nose does. And confusion spot nose is a very similar thing and the, the patterns interact very heavily together. It's really, really incredible to see. But you see here, the head is looking even more like a clown. You're having more of that kind of the arrowhead shape. But the big factor is, again, you still have that same eye strike coming in from underneath all the way forward. And it connects there at the front of the nose. And so this is still a head, even though it looks like basically a Batman clown. And again, we're seeing a lot of pattern reduction here on the belly. Still some interesting on sides, and there's a little bit of variation in that. But, so those are two heads. We're gonna show you one more here. This is with red stripe, also in the mix. You see, this is their heavier patterned version of the same thing, but this has red stripe, so it has a color boost. As you can see, that, that more of that brighter look. And look at the belly on that. You're having some edging here. Really, really interesting to see how that all comes together. Again, the same eye stripe coming all the way forward from underneath. Even though we're reducing so much pattern on the head, you can still see that kind of hallmark coming through in all these. Last one I'm gonna show you is one that we showed in a previous video. And this is the leopard spot nose Confusion yellow belly, het clown. And look at that belly. It's much more defined as far as the pattern on the edging from the yellow belly. Even better color, really, really incredible. Again, same eye stripe, same head pattern. And so we have the snake from this half down, looks like some kind of crazy Batman combo, but it's still just a het. So here we have the regular Confusion Clown. So this is with no other jeans. It took me a while to make this, and that's really the key with working with any project, is you wanna see what your starting point is so you can evaluate some of the others. So this is the Confusion Clown. So you see here, I was highly impressed with this animal because aside from the head, it'd be hard to even think it was a clown. It looks like some kind of crazy pattern that we haven't really seen um, in a ball python yet, which means that there's so much potential on what you can do with it. And when you see the head, it gives away that it's a clown. You see how it's missing those eye stripes that go all the way up the snake. What you have is here's a little bit of a fork and then it stops. You have a little bit of spot around the eye, but you don't have the stripe that goes straight through. You have the arrowhead look on the, on the face still on the head, but it's much more bold. Really incredible. So I know you guys are waiting to see, what does that belly look like? This is the Confusion Clown belly. You see it's highly, highly patterned. Was so pleased just to see how impressive this combo was 
by itself, which to me, to me means that the Confusion Clown project is just full of incredible potential for the future. So this is the Leopard Confusion Clown. So this is combining all those amazing features that we saw in the hat into the visual version. Let's take a look at it. So you see here that same amazing black and tan drama that's just so dark and really, really bold converted into this amazing animal. So this animal, I believe, has blade as well, so it is fairly reduced pattern. But look at how just incredibly dramatic that snake is. If you're into the dark morphs, you're into the dramatic color palette, this is the way to go. Really, really, really cool. And check out that crazy belly. Insane how that thing transferred over. So we saw the really light belly on the hat, and in the visual that came through in just a much more dramatic pattern. I did not expect that it would come through on the visual clown as nearly as much as it did. I thought we may have a little bit of that, but not nearly to that extent. Really incredible. So just to show you some variation, this is the Leopard Confusion Clown. Here's another one. Here's another one with just a, oh, I'm trying to get a bit while. Here's another one with a little bit of a brighter pattern. Really, really cool. Incredible belly. Amazing, amazing. So one of my goals this year, when as soon as I saw what we're looking at with these leopard confusion clowns, I thought, I wonder if we're gonna be able to tell any variation if we went with a super leopard. And the amazing thing is, is I don't know for sure that this is what this is, but when we did a super leopard confusion clown clutch, we did one that's even darker, even better. Look at that, look at the color difference. This one has even deeper, deeper, more contrast, and it has, look at that, an even darker belly. Really, really cool. Again, look at these heads, and you still have that arrowhead kind of coming up to the middle, but you don't have that stripe going through the eye. Sometimes they'll have a little bit of black kind of mascara look around the eye, but they won't have that long stripe going straight through. Side by side, Leopard Confusion Clown and the Super Leopard Confusion Clown. Incredible. And then two insanely crazy bellies. So next one is a Leopard Yellow Belly Confusion Clown. And this is really cool because I wanted to see Yellow Belly, we talked about before in the hat, it really makes the pattern a lot more dramatic, it adds more spots, adds more craziness, and a lot of times it'll add really coolness to the belly. So here's how this animal turned out with the yellow belly put in. So leopard yellow belly confusion clown. Really, really great. So look how much more dramatic this snake is. Look at all those extra spots, all that extra pattern in it. Really cool. That head is also much darker and kind of less contrast in a way. It has just more of a deeper brown to it. Again, you see that head is missing those eye stripes. You have a snake, but check out the crazy belly. The yellow belly really, really amped that amazing belly. I don't think I've ever seen a ball python with that much pigment in the black. It's almost like the, uh, the stripe on the top and the stripe on the bottom goes straight through the snake. Just incredible. So now we're going to look at the spot nose confusion clown. Confusion and spot nose are so highly dramatic. They really make an incredible combo, just the two of them. This is how it reacted in the clown. So you can see right away, it really, really amped up the pattern. It's really wicked looking. There's absolutely no indication of that solid back stripe that comes in clowns. And so we have something that completely disrupted the entire animal, which is really amazing to see because clown is a very, very strong pattern mutation. That head, very, very classic clown, incredible. But the body itself is highly, highly unusual. It almost looks like, um, like land masses or puzzle pieces or something that's kind of laying side by side here and trying to fit in together. The tear drops that come from the clown are barely even noticeable. They kind of come down to a little bit of a terminus here at the bottom, but for the most part, they look like just crazy, crazy, whacked out alien heads that you've seen a ball python. And here we go, here we go with the belly. You see here, the belly is relatively unchanged from the regular confusion clown, which is cool that that kind of took the precedence in the combo. Really, 
really cool. So for the last two combos, we're gonna have one that I was highly anticipated. We're gonna look at the Confusion Batman and some of the other crazy Confusion Clown combos we've made so far. This is the Confusion Leopard Spot Nose Clown, so the Confusion Batman. And this is also, I believe, a blade version because you see it's highly, highly reduced and it came from a blade clown. But we will see the different variations as we make this more in the future. And we have one, an one other animal here that will show you that will kind of give the potential for the pattern. But you see here it starts out highly patterned up the top. In a way, it looks a lot like the leopard spot nose confusion head clown. But that head is unmistakable as a clown. Really incredible. But then it fades off to almost a blank back here on the back half of the snake. But I think the coolest feature of this animal to me are these sides. As you go down the side here, the pigment just seems to increase and increase and increase all the way down to the bell and we have heavy, heavy edged belling. But look at that black coming, coming in all the way down the belly. Especially up here, we see a lot more pattern. Look at that. That's really neat. And it's highly, highly unusual to see anything like that in a ball python combo that we've seen so far. So. For me, I just latch on whenever I see something like, wow, I've never seen a combo do that. To me, that's really, really special. And that's something that through time, we can make efforts to figure out combos that will actually bring that out even more. You know, in my mind, you put it to more dark morphs, uh, more things that are gonna bring in more melanistic, especially if they're more melanistic on the sides. And maybe we can bring that out and make something that's highly, highly different. So, the Confusion Batman, and then we hit to the next level. This is the Fire Confusion Batman. And you see this one actually has more pattern. This came from a non-blade um, clown clutch. Some reduction in pattern still, but not nearly to the same extent. But you see that color difference the Fire brought in. It still has a lot of those same features. You see those dark, dark patterns coming in up here on the sides as it goes down the side of the, the, side of the animal. A really amazing snake, very, very dramatic. I think there's a lot, a lot that can be done with this and it'll be just a next step kind of thing where you figure out how to make it even better. But I'm really, really happy with how these turned out and just exactly how spotted they are and how unusual they are. That's really the main key. It's just how different this is compared to a lot of the things we've seen so far from the project. All right, so for this one, it's taking it in a completely different direction. And this is probably the most exciting direction I've seen so far with the Confusion project. It's really, really, really cool. This is the Black Pastel Spot Nose Confusion Clown. So this is my favorite Confusion Clown combo so far. This is the Black Pastel Spot Nose Confusion Clown. And you see the Black Pastel and Confusion just work incredibly well together. The Spot Nose is almost Almost you can't even see the spot nose in this combo because black pastel and spot nose and a clown, um, the spot nose is almost completely muted. It's just a slight pattern difference. But this animal is so dramatic because of that confusion and black pastel interaction. And look at that belly. Amazing, heavy, heavy edging on it. But just overall, the dramatic blacks and weird pattern. Again, it doesn't even look like a clown aside from that head. Really amazing to see this, and I think it's got tons of potential. And maybe soon we'll see this more in the, uh, the Pompeii direction. You know, put yellow belly in there, put red stripe in there, and add more drama to that Pompeii project. That'd be really, really cool. But I want to give major props to Josh Jensen, who made the Black Acid Clown. And uh, that really, although I was already working on this, that when I saw that animal, I thought that's a real sense of vision there. That's an amazing, amazing combo, and really, really cool. I think big props for that. All right, guys, hope you enjoy those. We've been waiting so long to show them to you and share with you what we learned on this project. And I think it has so much crazy potential for the future. And we're looking forward to hitting it hard again next year, trying to learn more and take what we've learned and make it even better. So before we end, I want to give a huge shout out to Willie Obermeyer, who has pioneered the Confusion Project. He's the one who originally sourced the animals to us. Um, they're really incredible and he's doing incredible things with them. So check him out and we give his link below. Thanks so much guys. We'll see you again next week.